Hey everyone, in this video I want to cover how to use jQuery's each function. So in this video I'm going to build something that will allow me to click this randomize button here and change the progress on each one of these progress bars. And to do that I'll be using the each function in jQuery. So let me show you what I have so far. I have this bootstrap HTML file that has um, everything loaded. It has this nav bar at the top, but I won't be using it. So what I'll be focusing on is this stuff right here. So I have four progress bars and then I have a randomized button down here. And then I also have a script that I'll be working with that's already included in this HTML file. Uh, it already has a click event on the randomized button, which I'll be filling in with some code so we can see uh, how to use jQuery each. So jQuery has this each function, which is used to do something for every element returned from a selector. So in a typical case, like in this one, the randomize selector here, you're only selecting for one element. So randomize is unique on the page. So when you uh, call a selector, you only get one element. But there are times when you have a selector that returns multiple elements. And anytime that happens, jQuery each will probably be good to use. You don't necessarily have to use it, but if you want to do anything uh, more than just changing attributes or showing or hiding multiple elements, you actually have to have some code be executed for each one of the elements and it's unique to each element, then the each function will be good to use. So in this case, I'll select all four of these progress bars, and for each one, I'll do the same thing, and it's only going to affect the one progress bar that is currently being evaluated in the each loop. So let me set that up here. So on click of the randomize button, the first thing I want to do is select all the progress bars that I have. So let me see what class I have here. They all have this progress bar class in common. So let me select for that dot progress bar. And this selector will return four elements because there are four progress bars. So now I need to call the each function and it takes a function as an argument. And that function is going to do something for each one of these elements that are selected. Now you don't necessarily have to do anything specific to those elements. So if I wanted to increment a counter, then I could. So I can have a counter start at, let's do this. Starts at zero and then I'll increment the counter. And then after the each, I'll just alert the count. So this will happen when I click the randomize button. So randomize, and it tells me four. So it looped through here four times, and it alerted the times it looped through. Now this is probably not something you would do, but this is something you could do because it's just like any other loop. But in this case, um, it's looping over elements. So now let's do something a little more interesting with the elements. So anytime you have the each function, you have access to a special selector called this. So it looks like this. And with this selector, it gives you the current element that is being evaluated in the loop. So the first time around, it will give you the first element. In this case, it will give you the green progress bar. The second time, the blue progress bar. The third time, the orange. And the last time, the red progress bar. And for each one of those, you can do something to them and change that one element that is currently being looked at in the loop. So for this example, I want to randomize these progress bars. And to do that, I need to modify three values on them. So let's go back to the HTML. To modify these progress bars, I have to change this aria value now, the width, and this text inside of the div. 
If I change those three things, then I'll change what the progress bar looks like. So let me copy um, the attribute that I need to change, aria value now. I'll leave it as a comment. And then I need to change the width. Okay, so I'll keep that in mind. So before I start changing the values, I need a value to change them to. So let me get a random value. So I'll say random percent equals, um, I need to round a random number. So random gives a number between zero and one, a random number, and multiply that by 100 and then round it so I get an integer. So now with that random percentage, I'm going to change the three things that I need to change, the aria value now, the width, and the text. So first, let me change aria value now. So I have access to the, this selector. And then I want to change the value now attribute. So let me put that in here and get rid of the comment. And I'm going to update the aria value now with the random percentage. And I also need to change the width. So this CSS width is going to be the random percentage plus a percent. And finally, I want to change the text inside of the div because progress bar class uh, belongs to these divs and I want to change the text inside of them to reflect the new number. So I'll change the text to be random percent plus the percent sign. Okay, so now with all of this, when I hit the random button, I should get random values in the progress bars, and let's see if it works. So I hit randomize, and everything changes. This went down to 1%. These two just happen to land on 83%. That's just a coincidence. And then this final one is 22%. If I hit it again, they change again. And I can hit this as many times as I want. It's just doing the same thing over and over again. It's coming up with a random value and it's changing those three things so the progress bars change. So just a cool little example of how to use uh, the each function in jQuery. I'll include this code on GitHub. I'll put the link in the description below. If you like this video, just hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, just post them in the comments below and I'll answer them. So, thanks for watching.